First things first, this is not a sponsor, but if anybody from Mountain Dew is watching this, hey, I'll wear this shirt a lot for you. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at text tracking if you come from a design world or just letter spacing, character spacing, and animating that in After Effects. And then probably bringing it over into Premiere. I'll show you how to do that really easily if you want this effect in your video. Uh, over my right hand shoulder here, there's actually a video playing that I made for Pacers Gaming. And right at the end of that video, I bring in the title with this text effect. So I'm going to show you that. And then we're going to hop into After Effects and I'll show you how to do the effect itself. To create that way and you know I just want to be proof that you are able to do what you love and I feel like when it's all said and done I'll, I'll be able to showcase that. Okay, so we have After Effects opened here, and I also have Premiere opened in the background, and I will flip over to this when I show you how to bring it into Premiere really easily. Um, it actually kind of, you know, we use dyna dynamic linking, and it reminds me of sort of like using a smart object. It's pretty sweet and editable. You know me, I like editable. All right, new composition. There's a button here. You can uh, just right click over here, do new composition. There's like 15 ways you can do this, but open up a new comp and I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. Uh, this preset is 2997. I don't really want that. I'm gonna do, uh, well, basically you're gonna want to do whatever the frame rate is of your project. So I know that my sequence in Premiere is 24 frames per second. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, it looks like it changed my preset to HDTV 1080-24, that's 1080-24. All this is pretty good. I'll go ahead and keep it at 30 seconds, no worries there. Um, pretty much everything's fine, I'm gonna hit okay. So we got this composition in here. I'm actually gonna rename this composition. I should have named it in the first place and it's gonna be called, I'm just gonna call it Legacy actually because we're gonna use the words Legacy like you guys saw in that video. So all I need to do here, I want um, this sort of transparent background so I can bring it over into Premiere and place it on top of any video I have in Premiere. So we're really just gonna add some text to our document. And there's a little type tool up here. It's Command T or Control T as the shortcut. And I can just click on my, I guess, canvas here. I'm gonna be bad with the names in After Effects, so don't use it too much, but I'll consider this my canvas. Um, and I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type LEGACY. And I'm just using all caps for that. Looks like it's, uh, the font is white. It's hard to see, I need to bring it up a little bit. The font that I utilized in that video, if you're wondering, is called Butler. I think it's out there and free somewhere. Okay, so we brought that up. The other thing I wanna do in my character and paragraph panels, if you don't see them, you can go up to window drop down and find uh, probably text or character or paragraph. There's character, there's paragraph. Okay, I wanna center this because I want that text tracking to go from the center out. And then I wanna to go to my alignment panel and actually center it completely on my composition as well. So we're right in the center of the composition. It's hard to see. I think I can change that by toggling off this transparency grid. Now it's gonna show on black, but since there's nothing underneath my text layer, it is transparent underneath. So no worries there. That just shows you, or that's just how to toggle on and off the transparency grid. Okay, let's change this font to one that I'm using for uh, pixel and bracket a lot. That's Good Headline Pro. We'll do Good Headline Pro black, maybe medium. Sorry, just getting picky. Okay, medium's good. I actually wanna track it out a little bit already. So whenever you're looking at the character panel, there's this horizontal, no, not horizontal scale. There is, where's my text tracking? Is it in paragraph? No, it's right here, I'm sorry. Set the tracking for the selected characters. Right now it's at zero. You can use this and kinda scroll left and right and you can see that that's, that's the effect we're actually trying to do, right? We're trying to basically animate this text tracking. So I'm gonna track it out to my sort of minimum that I want it and we'll set that to 75. You can just type in there if you want. Then I'm gonna go down to my layer. I got legacy down here, it's my type layer. I can toggle this down and you're gonna see over to the right this little animate toggle. 
If I click on that, I have a bunch of things that I can animate and tracking just happens to be one of them. I didn't put that in the title of this video because tracking means something different in the After Effects world for most people, but character spacing is kind of probably what you were looking for. Okay, so this just gave me a little animator down here and a range selector and tracking type and tracking amount. I'm going to toggle down the range selector and we have start and we have end. Make sure this is zero and 100% and the offset is at zero. We also have an advanced option so you can really get nitty gritty with this, but honestly, you don't have to do a whole lot because we have tracking amount here. We know it's 75 because that's what we started with, but this animator down here is just assuming that wherever your tracking's at is the zero point. So I like 75 as the zero point. I'm going to toggle on the stopwatch to create a keyframe out here. And then if we go, let's say six, five seconds out here, something like that, I'm going to change this to maybe 30. There you go. And if we swing back to the beginning and hit spacebar to play, our text is tracking, the animated tracking. We got it, just like that. So you can change how long this is, right? You can change the, uh, the placement of your keyframes and uh, the character spacing grows. And then you can adjust, you can go back and forth between keyframes with these arrows right here. And you can adjust just how much tracking there is. So we could really take that up to like 100 and that's gonna track really quickly across that, that span of time to 100. So I'm just gonna leave it like this because you guys can see it for sure. This is eight seconds, so what we could do is go back to our composition up here in our pro uh, project panel, right click it, go to composition settings, and I'm gonna set this, instead of 30 seconds, I'm gonna set it to something like uh, nine seconds. Give me a little buffer at the end so I don't lose my keyframes, uh, or my, my little, yeah, my keyframes, um, but I still have the animation in a pretty condensed little composition. So what we need to do now is save this guy. I'm gonna go up to File, Save As. I'm gonna find a spot on my uh, desktop here. I have a little recorded folder set up. We're gonna call this uh, Character Spacing, perhaps. And so this is my After Effects project. I just saved that. I'm just gonna exit out of After Effects. Don't even need to mess with it now. And go back to Premiere. So we're in Premiere Pro now. Down here in the project panel of Premiere Pro, I can import an After Effects project. I can just double click in this space. It's gonna open up uh, my little finder window. I'm gonna go to recorded where I save that, open up that character spacing After Effects project and hit import. Now with the dynamic linking, I probably shouldn't have closed out of the project. We'll open it up here in a sec. With the dynamic linking though, once we import these, we can actually select um, which composition from that project we want to import into our file. Okay, I sped that up there. It took forever, but here's my composition in that After Effects file. I see legacy, I can import that comp. Hit okay, and it's gonna come into my project files here. After that, this is basically like a video clip. We can actually click and drag this onto our timeline. And if I bring it out over here, we can play and preview our effect. So this is kind of like its own little video, this After Effects composition that got brought in. Now, like I said a second ago, I probably should have kept After Effects open because what you can do, if I right click on this guy, I might even be able to do it from here. If there is an edit button, it doesn't look like there is. There might be, you might be able to find it, but I can go back to After Effects and open up that composition and edit it. And that's the coolest part about the dynamic linking between After Effects and Premiere Pro is that we can open up that character spacing uh, project. Here it is. We could just completely change this to uh, pixels, for instance, and save it. Command or Control S, go back to Premiere, and this little guy has already updated to say something different. So you could go back, adjust your tracking, adjust the length of your composition, adjust what it says if you want to and create whatever you want and bring it over here to Premiere Pro to place on top of your videos. That's it for this tutorial. I know there were some skippy little parts there. Um, I, my computer was not loading for some reason. It was trying really hard. The fans kicked on, it was freaking out. It shouldn't do that for you, especially for something as simple as 
spacing out your text. Should be fine. Um, really cool stuff though. Just animate tracking with the text animator in After Effects and then save that down, import that composition to Premiere Pro, place it on top of your video, whatever your video is. For mine, it was just a black background. For you, it might be a nice ocean scene or something super atmospheric, something like that. I could see this being used in those ways. Uh, but that's how you animate uh, text tracking, text spacing, character spacing, letter spacing, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time.